Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's almost three weeks I'm using my OnePlus 5. So this is not my first OnePlus 5 device. Already I have used 3 and 3T. Now today in this video, we are going to talk about something Oxygen OS. Even though I'm using Galaxy S8 and Google Pixel uh, phone along with my OnePlus 5 too. Now there is some unique feature I always liked on the OnePlus 5 that makes me to you know come and use the device always now this is not a high-end flagship like you have the galaxy or like you know a great camera like the pixel but still this is a great device so guys in this video i'm going to talk about some top 10 a uh, unique feature uh, which may exist or may not exist in other oems so these are features that other android oems should implement on their phones so they may be small or major one so guys let's get started and check out and see what are those features so starting first with and uh, this is reading mode this is first time came in the oneplus 5 now previous previous devices like 3 and 3 they don't have these things but it should come very soon but uh, this is something that can convert your phone to a kindle looking tablet you know you can just have a monochrome display black and white typically ideal for uh, reading uh, stuff but you know most people are not going to like it in case you're browsing some using websites and all the stuff now one of the great features is that you can easily uh, you know configure uh, any application on that so that when you're going to open any application this thing is going to automatically itself turning on the reading mode now i have configured the wikipedia if i just open the wikipedia you can see it's immediately going to change my screen from the colorful to the black and white monochrome display now easily i can go and type it and read it whatever stuff i want to do that so one of the highly recommended feature that all the oem should implement on their phone as usual now going ahead this is again a great feature and all the smartphones are going to come and becoming to uh, adopting amoled phones even the iphone 8 is going to have this feature ios 11 all already have this dark mode implemented now uh, android doesn't have all of the implemented just take a look here this is 3t and the plus 5 they both have by default white but i can simply turn them to complete dark mode it's pretty looking great amazing you know it's saving batteries a lot and this is the one of the best which i must saying all the OEM should implement it saves battery it looks cool you can change the accent color you can make it pretty much you can just compare with yourself how it is looking on the white how it is looking great so highly recommended feature for all the oems next up we're going to start with the gestures mode so this is my uh, paperweight is 25 years old my father used this on the office now it is in my table i want to take picture from here i just uh, unlock my phone it, if it is password pin pattern whatever there you just have to do it you have to launch the camera application you have to take pictures then you have to you know keep your phone on the desk again so it takes uh, hefty three to four steps now let's try the same uh, with the oneplus 5 or the oxygen devices now i just have to do some gestures command i'm just going to type s i can immediately do any of the video recording here i wanted to do that or i can just type something like you know s or maybe any com any command you can configure that i just type o I start my camera again so the phone is completely logged you just have to know how you to do that so let's go ahead and see what other gestures we can do that so going inside the setting gesture you can see there are a lot of commands you can set. we can control the music player you can have some o v s m predefined configured words are there and hopefully in the future that should come very soon now I just forgot to tell you guys you can easily turn on the torch by just uh, typing v and again typing v to turn that off now this one here is a double tap to wake up this is not new for me already have used my first smartphone was a Nokia smartphone on the Pinterest phone so it's not a pretty new feature for me but this is very great feature you know uh, something uh, that can save a lot of your time and effort just to unlocking the phone and keep checking notification if you got any notification if you're busy and engaged somewhere else you don't want to or you're not able to uh, just see the notification at all you can just go simply and double tap to see you don't need to unlock the phone you can just see it from here if it's urgent you guys can go and reply from that now this is again the new feature is called the app locker everybody is just searching for a best locking application already i have my galaxy this is a secure folder which is i can say it's a high-end version of the securing phones which have a lot of cloud feature all the stuff but we want the basic feature it's cool but again how about the simple basic features like we have with the oneplus 5 devices like simple app locker it's a built-in the oxygen itself you don't need to rely on third-party application just go to the setting and search for app locker you can easily lock any new application and this is working so much efficiently and it present secure safe i have tried and i used it for almost uh, three to four months no issues at all so I just go inside this you can see this app locker you can just configure and enter your password pin it's going to take your finger present that's a good thing just log the application you wanted to have secure once you go and try to open that application i've locked in my google key because i need to store my stuff it's gonna ask your pin pattern fingerprint sensor now talking about the screenshot the long screenshot is uh, now it is very common and the old traditional way is to take with the buttons now aims have started implementing even though my galaxy has that feature uh, but i really like the way oneplus is handling you know three fingers it's just screenshot we already saw that in the gestures now let's give a try and see on the oneplus 5 now this is going to work on 3 3t open beta builds starting the wikipedia i want to have something on my offline copy 
I just use my three finger gestures. So it's take a second screenshot. If you just uh, click on the scroll button, it's gonna scroll uh, till the end. And the moment you wanted to stop that, you just have to tap it once. It's gonna take you as a JPEG file. Now you can convert to the PDF, you can save it as HTML. You have to use a third party application, but this is very nice. You can share it, configure it, do that. So one of the best recommended feature, I will say all of the Android OEM should implement this feature, at least in the stock Android too. So great features. Next up guys, we're gonna start with the status bar configuration. This is a small feature, small breaks, but you know, sometimes it's too important. Now OnePlus given a lot of option here, you can see you have the lot of battery modes option. You can just make it a circle. I'm just gonna connect to the battery bar. You can just check out and see that how it is changing. Now it is again circle. So it looks very cool. It's a dynamic, it's changed with us. You can completely hide this thing here. Or you have the battery percentage option. You can display the network statics. This is one of the best feature to check your LT connection the speed, how much you are getting if you're using any such of different different network. Just enable second clock. This is sometimes very, very important. Setting of alarms. And this is a guys a funny tweak. And also you can just customize a lot of the status bar option. This is built in the system you tuner, but all OEMs keeps on removing those features. So highly recommended feature. Next step guys uh, is a power on a feature. Now all of my devices are working super smooth. I believe that Android phones needs to restart very frequently. Now all of my personal phones, whatever I'm using, I used to turn them off at least for a few hours in a day. You know, my Android works smoothly, all the applications work flawlessly. I'm just giving my yes demo. I'm just going to set a small minute timer here. Now try to you restart your phone once. I have this in Galaxy, this feature, but they just uh, have option just to restart, not a schedule power off and power on off. So this is again a very great feature. Not most of the manufacturers have this feature, but this is this is a minor feature, small tweak. Should be there on all the smartphones. Now I've just set it my time here, and I'm just quickly going to just uh, you know turn let it here, and it should be turned off by itself. You can see that it's gonna give a front of for one minute. So don't bother about those things. Now it's going to turn and on by itself. Now what are the best way? Just try to keep your phone shut off in the night. Maybe the time you're sleeping. Also you're gonna get a good sleep. This is a very great sign to use such feature. Now guys, this is another important feature uh, that is companies implement this called short and one plus. Now this things I believe uh, brings feature, you know, the user can go close to the phones. Now I have my Google Pixel. It has a Google wallpaper built in the launcher, which is a great feature. This is a feature to turn on daily wallpaper. Now this things, these wallpaper are you know short with the DSLRs or maybe computer design stuff but the, the oneplus that's implemented such feature these are the photos that has taken with the oneplus devices now being a small company you know it's very great stuff you now companies trying to uh, making proud of whatever they have done so I appreciate that feature these are wallpapers that are being taken with the oneplus devices maybe one two x uh, three three t five whatever is there and they are pretty cool the oneplus itself shortlist them and whichever got the best vote and rated uh, it comes to the oneplus wallpaper and you can just uh, this thing's also going to change your wallpaper each day lock screen all the stuff so you can see how pretty amazing wallpaper this is uh, completely taken with the oneplus devices and the next is a not very great but a small feature called as a auto brightness control on the quick toggle quick setting itself now you can if you have any launcher which has this gestures feature that you can swipe it down itself so it's very pretty handy on most of the situations for example in case you're reading using reading mode you're browsing somewhere else you can easily control the brightness just from the quick toggle quick setting panel itself you don't need to go inside the setting and also you can do control the ambient display and uh, whether you want uh, auto brightness control all the cool stuff so this also another small but uh, major feature that all the competition in print so guys there you have it these are all the sort of features uh, that i found oxygenous now this feature may or may not be present on the oem but i feel these are the, all the top 10 features that all the oems should implement on your devices so guys i hope you did enjoy this video i thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon in the next video have a great day